Welcome, my artistic friends of the interwebs. Right out of the gate, if you hear any banging, neighbor's getting a new roof. <laughs> Two houses done, neighbor's getting a new roof. So, I told you all I'd make a video, um, kind of going over what I'm doing, what I have planned, you know, as they say, best laid plans. But this is um, an oil painting. It's a large one. What is it, like 48 by 48 or something like that? It's a big gunger. Um, doing things... You know, you know how I do it. Doing things like I've never done them before. <laughs> a lot of this is experimental. Um, oh, so where to start? Okay, first of all, know this. The angels are the fourth layer. And I know it's kind of hard to tell, but if you get close, you can actually see the different layers. Um, yeah, I started out with white. And then I went to blue, and then red, and then back to white for the angels. So here's the thing. It's, it's oil. It's going to take a while to dry. The white that I used is titanium white, and, a, and titanium white is notoriously slow drying. And Mother Nature is not cooperating a whole lot. <laughs> It's winter time, and you know, this um, uh, studio is a two and a half car garage with, as you can see, um, no insulation. So, yeah, uh, it's going to take this a little bit of time to dry. I don't really have room for it in the house, although I've seriously thought about making room for this painting. There's, there's lots of problems with that, though, to be honest with you. I would rather finish this painting out here. And, uh, but anyway, so without going into too much detail, because I don't want to bore you, um, this, uh, this painting, this canvas started its life, uh, in the horizontal. So I put it on the ground and had this tarp out. And, um, what I did was I thinned the bejeebas out of the oil paint. I mean, it's, it's thinned as thin can get, um, with just turps, just turpentines. Um, and then I put the first layer on, and I used a uh, oh a squeegee type applicator, and I did a pass. I actually did a bunch of passes with that color, very very thin, and because it's all terps, very kind of um, flat. And then I went and uh, put the blue on, did the same thing, very very thin, um, I squeegeed. And, um, yeah. Now, the squeegee I used is was not the full length of this canvas. And I, it's kind of the way I wanted it because I wanted to have, you see these lines in here? These horizontal lines? I wanted to have that. Now, I'm thinking about switching over to a, a, a squeegee that will uh, cover the whole canvas and not have those lines. Each layer is going to be what they are. Well, <laughs> listen to me. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because to be completely honest, uh, things just kind of unfold as they unfold. But I want this to be pretty bone dry before I go with the next layer because I don't want to disturb the angels. So there will be probably another at least two layers on top of these angels. And then I will revisit angels on top. So you'll have these angels hopefully in a uh, kind of reset deep into the painting and then you'll have a fresh set of angels probably larger angels on top so we'll see i mean i don't know we'll see um yeah i didn't use any medium to try, try to make it dry faster um i have some stuff to make that happen but i just didn't use it um and I'm not entirely convinced that it's just not too cold for all this, but who knows? It'll either be a really cool effect or it will not be. Of course, that's most of my paintings. It'll, they'll either be really cool or, <laughs> or not. So, anyway, the stain, which is basically what I've created as a stain that I squeegeed over, um, is really cool because it's super thin. And in certain spots, you can see through to the uh, previous stains, which I just love. I absolutely love that. I know I, didn't, I know I didn't pioneer that, 
but I'm definitely making it my own. Now the angels, by the way, obviously were not squeegeed on, they were painted, but I also, uh, just like with um, the, uh, the, the stain that I created for the, for the main body of the, of the canvas, I thinned the bejeebas out of the white. Now, not quite as much because I wanted them to stand out, um, but yet, pretty thin. And I hand brushed all those angels and the halos. Hopefully this works out. The tricky thing is going to be to make sure this thing is bone dry. Because when I when I put that fresh stain on and I come down with the squeegee, I don't want to smear the angels. Now, if that does happen, hopefully to a cool effect. <laughs> you know, I mean, you never know about those things. It's all part of the creative process. Yeah, it's all part of the creative process. So anyway, that is the update. That is how I'm creating this angels piece. Uh, I don't know how it's going to end up. We'll see. We will absolutely see. Anyway, if you all have any questions, suggestions, or any of that good stuff, let me know. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, rate it, even if you hate it. Apparently that helps. <laughs> you know, comment, even if it's a nasty comment, like, you know, you suck or whatever. Um, because it's all about the algorithm. Anyway, everybody take care. See ya!